Obviously, they called me after 7 on 7. They got scholarship offer. Then I went to visit this weekend and uh, had a real good time, really enjoyed uh, the people and the coaches, and then kind of made a decision based off that. What impressed you the most during your official visit? I, would, I mean, I would say, obviously, the hospitality. I mean, everything was nice, but I would say just like Coach Logan and Coach Beamer really impressed me. What things did they lay out for you about, okay, here's what we like to do on offense, and this is what we think you can do for us and with us? They would, uh, they kind of, they would show me my high school film, and then they would show their film, how they can see me just directly translating to their offense, and uh, obviously try to be a factor for them. Well, I mean, you're a guy that threw for over 4,000 yards last season and 40-some-odd touchdowns. You won a a 4A state championship, so you can obviously sling it when you think about the South Carolina offense. I imagine Spencer Rattler must come to mind and what they did with him the last two years. Yeah, and he was a pro-style quarterback, and uh, I, I saw him high, so that's a big plus to see him, what he was able to do in uh, their offense. And uh, I, believe, I really believe what Coach Loggins has to do. Fill us in on your conversations with uh, Coach Loggins, your relationship with him, uh, his pro background, and how much of an influence that was on your thinking as you were deciding on what to do. I mean, obviously his background is definitely like a plus because you just know he has something. I mean, he has a lot of pedigree to himself. But you know, I mean, as long as we started talking a lot more about two weeks ago and then this weekend, I really got to see what he's about, and I really uh, enjoyed him. You know, what was it like for you last season uh, with Westside winning the state championship? And all of a sudden, people started hearing more and more about Cutter Woods, and you sort of emerged and put yourself among the best quarterbacks in South Carolina uh, last season and for this coming season. What's that rise for you been like from a just the football standpoint and the notoriety standpoint? I've had a great team, great teams around me, had a had great head coach. And so, which allows me just makes makes me look better. But really, they're they're doing all the, they're doing all the all the hard stuff, and it just kind of I mean, I've, we all work hard, but I would say I have a great team around me to help everybody shine. So you played for Scott Early for a year, and now you play for Coach Brian Lane, two very offensive minded uh, quarterback centric coaches. I would say, um, yeah. what what's been the influences from those two guys that have helped mold you to this point? I mean, they've been great examples of men, but also of coaches and, like, just being able to play both of their offenses has been a blessing. So when you look at the South Carolina quarterback situation, you're the one guy they're, they'll take in 2025. And, of course, you got Lenora Sellers uh, in the room and some others, Dante Reno, of course, uh, and, and others. Um, so when you get there next year, what – what did they tell you will be like your opportunity? What do you think you can do? Is this going to be a, a quick opportunity for you or a situation where you need to come in and kind of learn behind the older guys? I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to work hard and see whatever comes, whether that's sitting or playing. I'm, I'm excited just to go there and work and compete. How about getting a chance to eventually uh, play with Lenora Sellers? Uh, how well do y'all know each other? We know each other pretty well. We train with the same quarterback coach, uh, Coach Ramon Robertson. So we kind of know we with each other for a while. He's a really cool guy, and uh, I'm excited just to be with him. Well, if you train with uh, Ramon Robinson, you're training with the best. I mean, uh, what yes, what has he taught you? What kind of things has he done individually working with you? I think Ramon, Ramon is one of the best uh, QB development coaches I, I've ever seen. So I think he's just a great coach, great with the kids, has great connections to college coaches. But overall, really just, I mean, if you're really just develops quarterback from a young age to an old age, he's really just, uh, he's a great, great trainer and mentor. Is he a guy that kind of just picks you apart and, and works on little things to make you better, or is he more of a big yeah. picture guy? Oh, both. I mean, training sessions consist of little stuff to big stuff. I mean, he, just, he, he does it all. He does it all. Yeah. All right, Cutter. So, I know you're looking forward to another big season at Westside. What do the Rams look like here in the offseason? Of course, you guys have won some seven-on-seven uh, titles this summer. So, at least from a, a passing and throwing standpoint, sounds like you guys are going to be pretty good once again. Oh, yeah. In the state, Omarni Weaver, Kamaris Bomar, Majay Dawson, and uh, Trayson Evans, my tight end, Kaysen Shaw. I mean, we have some, some great, great receivers. And obviously some like Zeke Marshall, he plays a receiver, he does well. Jamison Wilson, he's a really, really uh, dependable guy. He does super good. So, I mean, have some of the best receivers 
in the state and is the be- obviously the best offensive coach in the state. 